Good morning everyone and welcome to the simple card class for October. I'm going to show you just a couple things while everybody pops on and finds me on here. Um, I just wanted to show you these cards real quick. This is um, from my monthly card club and the deadline to sign up is today. But I wanted to share these with you in case you see something you like. And when I'm done I'll post a link to sign up for the card club. Um, but this is a class I run every month and you can subscribe. Um, you can join or cancel anytime and it's $39 a month, which includes shipping. Um, and you'll get supplies to make eight cards. So this month I use the celebrate with tags bundle and you will also get some of the celebrate everything host paper, which is kind of fun. So this bundle is a great one because it includes sentiments for a lot of different holidays and occasions. So you've got a Christmas card in there, but then you've got some other options too. So the club always includes product. You'll get a roll of this ribbon this month, a package of the white and real red glimmer paper, the iridescent pearls, and then a sampling of that host paper. And then you can choose to add on the bundle um, or you can substitute with something you have or maybe you already own the Celebrate with Tags bundle. Um, and you can also add on the inks that I used. So this month I used four colors, I think. I used Poppy Parade, um, Memento Black, and Pool Party. Maybe it's just three colors this month. Yep, looks like it. Three colors. So you can choose to add on the inks too or any adhesives that you need. Um, and part of one of the perks of belonging to the club is that I let you add those things on at catalog cost. Um, you don't pay the tax and shipping. That's one of the perks of being a subscriber. And then, like I said, you can join or cancel anytime, but for every six consecutive months that you belong to the club, then you get a $25 product credit from me. So that's kind of fun. And again, I'll post a link for that club in the description when I'm done. Uh, but the deadline for this month's class is today. So don't wait if you like those cards. And then I also wanted to mention that we have a starter kit special this month. And this one really surprised me because I didn't think we'd have another special until the next celebration in January. But this is one of my favorite specials on the starter kit is when they add more free product. So it's $99 and you get to pick out $155 worth of product, which is $30 more than usual. Um, so if you do the math, you are getting a lot for free. It's not quite 50%, but... Um, Maybe it is actually 50%. Don't ask me math questions in the morning. Anyways, so you're getting a lot for free and you don't pay shipping on the starter kit. You can choose whatever products you want to put in there. Um, so if you have a big wish list, this is a great way to make a dent in it. You'll also get a 20% discount on your future orders through at least April. And that gives you time to kind of try it out and see if you like being a part of Stampin' Up. There's no penalty um, if you decide that it's not for you, you just go back to being a customer. So it's kind of fun, a fun thing to try out. And I promise our group is a ton of fun. And there are a lot of benefits. I could spend a long time talking about it. But I'll post a link to this too. And um, if you click on it, it'll take you to a page that shares some more of the benefits. Um, and then if you want to take advantage, this deal goes through the end of the month. So we've got a little over a week left. Okay, today what I wanted to show you <clears throat> is the cards for my simple card class this month. So we're going to make four cards today. And then if you would like to get a card kit that includes um, all the paper pieces and the ribbons and embellishments to make the cards, you can place an order of more than $40 in my online store. And I'll have a host code. I didn't get it printed out today, but I will post it in the description when I'm done. Um, and if you shop using that host code um, for the next week, I will send you the card kit for the four cards that we're making today. And if you spend more than $50, then I am going to include a free package of these opal rounds that I used on this card. So that's a little incentive for you. Spend just a little more and get a free embellishment. So our first card today, we're going to be using the Brightest Glow stamp set. This is part of a bundle. And it comes with dies if you buy it as a bundle. But the stamp set by itself is really, um, really awesome. It has a lot of your Christmas sentiments. 
but it also has some you can use on the inside of your cards, which I know some of you ask me about all the time. Do you have inside sentiments? And you will also notice that some of the fonts match. So those are kind of the ones that could go together or um, could go, you know, match the front to the inside. So that's a really nice stamp set. And of course, I love the classic Merry Christmas. But we're going to use a few sentiments today. And we're also using, um, this is one of the tags from the dies in that Celebrate with Tags bundle that I used for the card club this month. So kind of fun, we used a little tag on the front of our card. So let me pull in all of my supplies and we'll get going. So if you place an order and you get the card kit, you will get your cards split out like this. I usually put the embellishments in a little baggie separately, um, but everything, all the paper pieces will be flat in envelopes like this split out for you. So they are easy to assemble. And again, if you spend more than $50, you'll get a package of these for free. These are so pretty. Um, they kind of have sparkles in them that can look gold or silver, depending on what else you are using on your card. So that's kind of fun. So I have a Sahara Sand card base. And then we're just going to put a piece of basic white on the front. And this measures five and a quarter by four. I'm going to try and remember to tell you the measurements today, so if you're watching and you want to duplicate, you can. If you place an order and get the card kit, you will get a tutorial along with it that has all the measurements too. And then I have a piece of Blushing Bride, and this one is two and a half by five, and I emboss it with our wintry embossing folder. This is one of our smaller ones that will fit in our um, mini machine. And it also comes with a second embossing folder that has like, pine tree branches on it. So great for your winter crafting. I'm going to put this on the left side of my card. And then we're going to do our tag. So I just cut this with the Celebrate. Um, what are those dies called? It's the Celebrate with Tags bundle. I forget right now what the name of the dies are, but... Okay, we're going to use crumb cake ink and do our tis the season on the front. And I want to stay kind of close to the bottom because I'm going to add the snowflake at the top and the twine. Set that aside. And then we're also going to stamp an inside sentiment inside the tag, which is kind of fun. And we'll do that in blushing bride ink to match our blushing bride piece right there. Same thing, stay kind of close to the bottom. That way when you open it up, it's a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> okay, now before we attach this, I have a piece um, of our twine that has a silver thread through it. I don't know if you can see that. And I want to make it not quite as bulky. So I'm going to pull a few pieces of the twine out if you kind of pull it apart at the end like this, then you can pull some of these threads out. So I'm just going to pull out a few, and then you can use these for other projects too. And it's just kind of like a fun twine look. Okay, so now it's just not quite as bulky. Um, I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. It's still going to be a little bit thicker than a regular card. So this might be one you want to hand deliver um, or you it might need extra postage. If you want, you can lay this piece down flat or you could take even more of the threads of the twine out to make it a little bit flatter. But you just want to be conscious of that when you are mailing. So trim that. Oh, thank you. This is a beautiful card. Most of the cards I do for my simple card class, I copy from other demonstrators. I love designing cards, but this one I try and keep simple and easy for myself. And I was talking about the starter kit before. One of the perks of being a demonstrator is all the inspiration you get from other demonstrators. You see some of it as a customer, but as a demonstrator, there is so much more. Okay, so now we've got that on there. 
and then I have a snowflake cut out of our white glimmer paper and this is the same die set that cut out the tag so I'm just going to attach that with a mini glue dot in the center just put that off to the side there and then I'm going to finish it off with a few of these opal rounds so I'll just put one in the center of my snowflake and then we'll just add a few more on the tag here <clears throat> now I can't include stamped images in your card kit so you provide your own stamps and ink um, to finish up the cards if you wanted to place an order but like for this one it's super simple it's just sentiments so you could really use any sentiments that you'd like or if you like the stamp set you can add it on to your order so that's our first card really pretty not super traditional Christmas colors but if you've been around for a while you know that I kind of like non-traditional Christmas colors okay <clears throat> here's our next card this one also is not quite traditional Christmas colors but super pretty color combination right and this was in one of the um, I think it was in one of the demonstrator groups I belong to again that I copied and I thought it was just so pretty we're gonna use that same twine on this card in this one we're going to use the trimming the tree stamp set this is one that's in our big annual catalog and maybe you remember the dies that were part of that special promotion last month so maybe you got those we're not going to do any cutting today but if you got those there were dies that cut out the tree and stuff so that was kind of fun this one we're just doing some stamping and you'll see on one of our other cards um, today it's another set with a tree and a sentiment so Again, if you're thinking, I don't have everything I need to make these cards, if you have a tree and a sentiment, you're good to go. Or you could choose one of the two stamp sets with the tree and the sentiment and use it on both. So this one, we have a thick basic white card base. And before I attach any of my pieces, I'm going to stamp my large tree image in mint macaron. And this is kind of a larger um, photopolymer stamp. And I'm going to put my foam mat underneath because that will just help me get a clearer image. And then I have a piece of scrap paper because I'm going to do a little stamping off. Let's see if I can fit everything in here. So I'm going to ink up my tree. And the bottoms are going to get covered up. So I'll stamp here. And then I'm going to stamp again next to it so we get a lighter color. And it does not have to look perfect on the bottom because remember, it's going to get covered up. So, and I'm going to stamp, if you notice, I got a line from my block there. So I'm going to make sure to stamp this tree over that and be careful not to get any more. Now this one went off the edge a little. And if I stamp it off again over here, I'm going to get a line where I had the you know the stamp go off the edge so for this one I want it stamped off so I'm going to stamp on a scrap first and then I'll stamp over here and that way I won't get any lines on my stamped off image all right we better close this up so we don't make a mess <clears throat> and now I'm going to take a piece of starry sky and I emboss this with our Mary Melody embossing folder. Now, if you are not a music person, um, some of the notes, see if you can see it here, have a little dot next to them, and that dot should be on the left side. So that's how you know that your music is going the correct direction if you're not a musical person. And guess what? If you are sending it to a person who doesn't know music or isn't looking that closely, they're not going to notice either. All right, I knew I was going to run out of this, so I came prepared. <clears throat> I looked at it and I thought, that's not going to last me through this whole video. So I'll just do a little replacement here. Okay, and then we'll adhere this to our card. I don't know if I said this, but the Starry Sky piece measures four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And let's make sure I still have this right. Yes, I do. 
And we'll just put that on the bottom of the card. Okay, next we have another piece of our twine with the silver thread. And this one I'm not going to take any out, but I am just going to make sure that it's going to lay flat along here. And I'm not going to cross it over itself at all. So that way it should stay fairly flat. So I just put a little bit of stamp and seal in the middle to kind of hold it in place. And then this is cut from our Eden dies in mint macaron. And then I have a piece of basic white that I cut with our stitched rectangles dies. And we're going to stamp in scar starry sky ink our little piece and joy here. And this fits right in that die cut from the Eden dies. So that's kind of neat. Close up our ink so we don't have any accidents, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to center this in here. And then I'm going to add a few dimensionals on either side to pop it over that twine. You don't want to put any in the middle because that's where your twine is. Just like that and then I'm going to add a few rhinestones to the card now I copied this from somebody else and they didn't have any rhinestones but I have a hard time leaving a card without adding some type of little bling so here you go rhinestones are the perfect addition to any card right I think so so there's that one Again, pretty simple, but beautiful. Love it. Okay, now here comes our next card. And this one is another one with a tree and a sentiment. So like I said, if you don't have the exact tree or the exact sentiment, um, you could choose one of these stamp sets and use the same tree on both. It would not make a big difference. Okay, so I try and keep this class pretty simple with the stamping so you can duplicate at home. But this one is a fun bundle. It is a spruced up bundle. And let me show you the stamp set. So it has some fun Christmas images and then a few sentiments and you have the to and from, so you could do tags. And then the dies are the star of this show. They are outline dies, so they will cut out the images in the stamp set, which is what we're going to do today. But I'll show you when I die cut it. It also makes an outline um, that you can use on your cards, and it's a lot of fun. So the dies are the star of the show on this one. All right, let's start putting our card together. So I have a thick, basic white card base again. And then I have... A piece of shaded spruce that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths and a piece of white that's five by three and three quarters I also have a piece of that celebrate everything host paper and this one is four and three quarters by one and a half so this is that paper that I used in my card club this month and it's a host exclusive so if you host a party you can use your host rewards to purchase it or if you place an order of $150 or more yourself, you earn host rewards and you can use them to buy this. All right, so before I do my stamping, I am going to put this on and tie my ribbon around. This is our gold shimmer ribbon. It is super pretty and it is a returning favorite from last year's holiday catalog. But last year it was sold out for quite a bit of the catalog period. So um, get it this year because it's still really pretty. Perfect for Christmas crafting. So I'm just going to tie a knot with this. I love this ribbon. And we'll kind of turn it around like that. And then I'm going to trim the ends. And we're putting this on first before we do our stamping, just so you can kind of see where you need to place those words. So in the stamp set, you have separate stamps for Merry and Christmas. There's also Happy, so you could do Happy Christmas. 
And you could put them both on the same block, but I like to be able to control my spacing a little bit better. So I put them on separate blocks. And I'm going to do the Christmas first, and you may have to move your ribbon out of the way a little bit. But we're stamping off to the left, so we have room for that tree on the right. And I think my Shaded Spruce ink pad is going to need some more ink right now. Or pretty soon. I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, and then while we have our ink, your Shaded Spruce ink out, I'm going to stamp my tree too. And I'm going to make sure I put this under since it's a little bit larger image. Ink that up real good. Stamp our tree. And then we just have some assembly to do. So I am going to pull in my die cut machine and we are going to cut out this tree with the dies. Of course you could fussy cut too, but dies make things so much easier, don't they? Okay, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see me die cut this, but I will show you when I'm done how it cuts the outline also, because that is a really cool feature of these dies. And this will fit through our mini machine. I think all of the dies in this set will. If you are just starting out and you don't want to fork over the money for our large die cut machine, this little one is not quite as smooth, but it works great. And I really like it for traveling. I've said that before. It also is nice for videos like this where you don't have as much space in the camera. Okay, so I've got my tree, but then check this out. It also cuts this outline. So I've seen some really fun cards made with that. And, spoiler, I am going to be using this bundle for my Christmas card club next month. So I showed you my monthly card club at the beginning of the video. I also have a Christmas card club that is Christmas cards all year round. And I'm going to use this bundle next month because I just love it. Okay, so now I'm going to attach this to my shaded spruce and then we'll attach it to the card and I think I'm going to do dimensionals on this layer just to pop it up a little bit then we'll add that tree There we go. All right, we're gonna add the tree with dimensionals too. If you wanted to, you didn't, you wouldn't have to do that other layer um, popped up. This one I would, cause you're going over the ribbon, so it'll just stick a little bit better. Give it a little, give a little space for the ribbon. And then we're going to add in some of our festive pearls. This is a really fun embellishment for Christmas because you've got your gold and silver and then you've got green and red. So all your classic Christmas colors. To kind of match our ribbon today, I'm going to use some of the gold ones. I suppose the red might look okay on here too. But we'll just do gold to match the ribbon. And there you go. So there's that one. Again, this one is just the tree and the sentiment, so it's pretty easy to substitute if you need to. Okay, let's pull in our last card for today. Now, this one is not traditional Christmas colors again, but super pretty, and I love it. So many things I love about this card. I'll share them all with you. Okay, so this one, we're going to be using the Hope and Peace stamp set. This is another good sentiment stamp set for Christmas. It also has some more religious sayings if you like that type of card. Um, and then it also has a few that you can use inside. We're using this one for the front of the card today. But again, the only stamping on this card is a sentiment. So it's super easy um, to substitute. So for this one, I have a balmy blue card base. And then this is some of our snowflake specialty paper. 
Um, it comes with some that has the white velvet, and then there's also some silver and iridescent foiling on some of the sheets, and it's so, so pretty. If you are um, on my email list, I am doing a 12 Weeks of Christmas video series, and last week um, we used a bunch of this paper. If you'd like to be on my email list, I will post a link up at the top and you can join it. Next week we're getting ready for week four of that video series, but I have been sharing links to the past week, so if you missed out, you can still see them. I'm just adding a little bit of glue where it's gonna be covered up because it's on the snowflake. And you know what, I realized as I started doing it that I went, went a lot easier about the first time and just put stamp and seal in the middle where that label was, but that's all right. Two different ways to do it. I don't know why I did it that way. You guys know I don't like the green glue. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then next we have our frame. And this I cut with our fabulous frames and it will cut both these pieces. So we're gonna keep the center in today. I'm gonna adhere that first. I think I was just getting ahead of myself with the glue because I'm using it on the frame. And I got it out early. The frame would be a little bit hard to put seal on, so we will use glue on the frame. Not too much. Okay, and then that'll fit right around here. At least with the glue, I don't like how messy it is, but you can wiggle things around a little bit. So like in this case, you can get the frame exactly where you want it to lay and you have a little bit of wiggle room, which is nice. Okay. Next, we have one of our wonderful snowflakes. This is another returning favorite from last year and you get 24 of these in a package. I think it's only $6. They're iridescent and they're really pretty. And if you really wanted to make them a different color, you could flip it over to the um, to this back side, and you could probably color it, which is also fun. And the other fun thing about these is they made the center the exact size of a dimensional. So if you want to pop it up, it's really easy because the dimensional fits right there. I'm just gonna put a little glue in the center, and then our sentiment will help hold it down the rest of the way. So our sentiment label comes from the Stylish Shapes dies, um, and we're going to stamp in Smoky Slate. This is a great color to use if you kind of want a silvery look, but you don't want to emboss in silver. This is a quicker, faster way to kind of get the same look. Not quite, but, you know, easy. And we're going to stamp that in here. If you wanted to emboss, you sure could. There's that. Move that out of the way so we don't make a mess. I'm going to add this with dimensionals. And if I didn't say it, the snowflake layer is five and a quarter by four. That's really the only thing that you'd have to measure on this card. <clears throat> so that goes across the center of our snowflake. Then we have a ribbon tied with our white glittered organdy ribbon. This is another one of my favorite products and I'm just going to add that with a glue dot. I love all this iridescent stuff. So pretty. And speaking of iridescent, we have one more iridescent thing to add, our iridescent rhinestones. So I'm just gonna take a few of these. Got my sticky stuff stuck on there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just gonna add a few around the card. I almost made it to the end of the video without getting a tickle. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, one more. And you can put them in the center of the snowflakes if you want. Kind of depends where they are on your card. So there is that one. All right, let me bring back in all the cards so you can see them. All right, here are four cards this month. 
So again, if you place an order of $40 or more using the host code, I will send you all of the paper pieces and ribbons and embellishments to put your cards together along with a tutorial. And if you spend more than $50, I will also include a free package of the Opal Rounds. So I'll post the host code and the shopping link in the description and you have until next Wednesday to shop um, and get this class for free. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.